Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So the new big update just dropped and it came with quite a few surprises. I'll have a video about that explaining what exactly this update contains later on. But currently right now we are going to look at the shop that came along with this big update. So the first bundle we got in the store is the Frostbite effect set. So it seems like they brought this one back or rather just let it stay and yeah this is the one that kind of had a lot of controversy around it uh, it contains four effects we got the kill effect one of the armor effects another armor effect and a mythic effect which is a thousand eight hundred credits and someone pointed out that this actually technically cost $20 USD. Um, in some other places, it cost even more. Because you can't exactly get, um, you know, exactly 1,800 credits. Um, you actually have to buy this bundle, which is pretty insane. So yeah, not a big fan of that bundle. Anyways, let's move on to the next bundle. We got the Maltese Mayhem Weapon Set. And I actually purchased this one back in Season 1. And so it's back again. And it, once again, it's on sale. And yeah, I actually bought this one because I thought it was pretty fair. 800 before it was like um i think like 2000 credits or something i don't remember exactly um and yeah this one had like the cool classic vr attachment you also got a pistol attachment you got an assault rifle attachment and a few weapon coatings which are pretty basic we got one for the battle rifle uh the commando or rather the uh assault rifle the sidekick and the commando so yep you got all those and i think obviously the most intriguing part of this bundle is the attachments um yeah 800 credits for this i think it's well worth it on to the next bundle we also got another season one bundle that is returning and that is neptune deaths and this one has a cool little bulldog coating uh we also got a mark 7 coating and a stance uh this one i think should have gone on sale as well this one is 700 credits for these three little items here i still don't agree with this pricing i think they should have knocked it down to at least like 500 credits that's about it for that one now let's move on to the next one which is setting sun this one was also a season one bundle and it is a rocket launcher weapon coating and this one is going for 300 credits definitely don't agree with this one too much i think it should have been like at least 200 credits um i think one item for three dollars is pretty pretty nuts in my opinion so that wraps up the store let's check out the ultimate and man are we in for a treat so the ultimate for this week is the splatter backdrop this one was a season one ultimate as well so this is one of the returning ones and back then a lot of people gave 343 a lot of flack for this ultimate because it's just a backdrop um and yeah it was quite annoying to grind for it now it's a lot easier to get so it's not as annoying and 343 said themselves that they're going to be bringing back the most popular ultimates. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not one of the most popular ones. This is this is like one of those situations where like data can go wrong. Because 343 heavily relies on data, it seems like, when they do like feedback and stuff like that. And so this one came out during, this one came out like during closer to Halo Infinite's launch, which is when it was at peak. Uh, There's a lot of players. So that pretty much just means, you know, there's going to be more people unlocking it, right? Compared to now where there's less players. And so the data for them is going to show that, oh, well, a lot more people, you know, were unlocking this. So that probably means it's popular. But I think it's only because, you know, the game actually had a bigger player base. So yeah, that pretty much just equals more, you know, people unlocking this. And that doesn't exactly mean that a lot of people liked it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it's not very interesting, but yeah, that's the ultimate for this week. So that about wraps up this week's shop and ultimate reward. Let me know what you think. Personally, it's just another really average shop update, to be honest. And I don't really expect any like good shop updates until season three. So thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.